Kia ora everyone, uh, welcome back this month. Uh, I'm dugout reporter Broden Naki and this month I've been honoured to uh, have a sit down interview with none other than long time Black Sock Fininoka. How are you going? Good thanks buddy. So uh, Good, I guess just for this interview sort of makes sense to start it at the start. So how exactly did you get into softball? Um, I think I started at the age of three, uh, brought up uh, playing softball watching uh, my three older cousins, Kurt, Travis and Luke. And um, they obviously played their game at high levels and Kurt represented Black Sox as well. So, I mean, it, it was in the blood right from the start. My mum played, but um, yeah, started at the age of three and, and um, haven't stopped since. So yeah, that's how I started. And so uh, where, where did you start out? Uh, Auckland United. And you've been there yep. ever Been since. there, born and bred, so. Coming, coming through, obviously, you've had a lot of teammates, whether you've played here and with your club or played for your country or yep. overseas. Has there been anyone that you've looked up to or? Yeah, there's, there's, multiple, um, there's multiple people that um, obviously have been a big influence in my career. Uh, two of them are probably my mum and dad, um, obviously my cousins that I alluded to before, and then a couple of guys that I first sort of made the premier level in um, Auckland softball was uh, Donny Hale and uh, Nathan Nukunuku. And they sort of, you know, sort of learnt a little bit off them and, um, yeah, had, had a lot of help through them. Also, um, Nathan's brother Dion, um, he was a big, big help uh, through the junior grades as well. I learnt a lot off him. And also, Graham Gollan used to coach us through the, through the age groups at United and um, United Stalwarts. So, but yeah, everyone I've, I've, had, I've been around a lot of guys that have been at the top level and, and learnt a lot off them. I could name a dozen other guys, but yeah, they're probably the most influential guys at the, at the time, so. Mm. Mm. You mentioned there um, uh, a, a couple of pretty well-known names, Donny, Nader, Dion, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, all well-known in the Black Sox scene. What was your debut for the Black Sox like? Pretty nervous. Uh, Obviously, um, yeah, it was um, daunting just to be a part of um, firstly being picked in the World Series um, in 2009, not being a part of the, the training and, and the training camps and tours previous to that. So, I mean, it was a big shock making it, but obviously my first debut, I was, I was fucking scared. Um, I was nervous. Um, I, I can actually remember my at-bats. Uh, I think I took two two at bats and come into the game against a uh, Canadian pitcher that I've, I've played alongside and, and played against over there and he struck me out twice hor horribly so <laughs> I mean after that it was sort of like the nerves didn't really settle in but mm. I mean you had so much experience around you to sort of just you know mm. calm your influence and, and just go through your emotions you, you're there t to, to be who you are um, for what you, what got you there, so I mean, throughout the tour and stuff like that, it was it was a lot easier. So, but yeah, it was very nervous <laughs> at the start, mate. Is there is there any other games that you can remember right down to the tee, like your at bats? Any big moments that really stick out for you? Probably one big uh, opportunity that I had to win the game was versus Australia in the 2013 World Series. Um, again, I've been struck out, I think, four times by uh, the world number one, Adam Folkart, and I was lucky enough to, to get another shot at it. Um, mm -hmm. I had a chance with loaded bases. I, I struck out because of the umpire, because he didn't give me time, but I will argue to that day, but um, ended up uh, coming through in the clutch with Brad uh, steamrolling that uh, catcher at home. So. <laughs> That was probably one of my memorable moments, um, as well as winning uh, my first World Series at home in the final. So I remember a lot of that series and, and the final as well. So, yeah. You you alluded to family being a big contributor to you and your love of the game. Yeah. You happened to play with two of your brothers for your club at rep yeah. level and for New Zealand. What's it like playing with them? Yeah, it's. Um, it's stressful at times, I can tell you that. We get into a lot of arguments, but um, yeah, a lot of fighting and a, a lot of disagreements on stuff, on calls, and 
and things that go through the game, you know, but uh, just very proud to play alongside my two younger brothers and obviously to see them um, prosper in the sport and, and um, watching them grow as, as softballers as well is, um, is quite cool and um, I know it is for uh, mum and dad as well. So, but yeah, it's really cool to, um, yeah, just to have, the, have them alongside um, your club team and, and also represent your country at the same time as well. So. Mm. Just a couple of questions to wrap up then. So, yeah. just looking forward now, yeah, your next big challenge is going to be the Challenge Cup. Uh, how do you think the team's looking uh, going into that? Yeah, I think the boys have been playing and, and training hard um, with their domestic season and, and club sides. So, I mean, there's a lot of room for competition, spots up for grab. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the, obviously the New Zealand A or the New Zealand B team, however you want to call it. Uh, so there's guys in that team and there's also guys outside of the squad as well that are still looking to push a spot for for uh, this um, upcoming World Series. But um, yeah, the Challenge Cup team, um, a few guys back with uh, the likes of Wayne Laulu, um, Nathan being back in the fold and then obviously Tyron Bartarillo. So that'll bolster our lineup a little bit, um, but very exciting to see some of these young fellas come through and, and continue uh, into the level of of softball at, at, at the world stage so yeah it'd be a good good task at hand um, but yeah obviously looking forward to it playing in the Challenge Cup. And last but not least obviously after this year's World Series the next one's back home. Yep. You reckon you'll be around still for the next one gonna yeah, keep those young fellas at bay? <laughs> <laughs> nah definitely um, uh, that's also one of my goals is to um, uh, be a part of this team um, for that as well so mm -hmm continue to carry on um, doing doing the uh, jersey proud and, and the country proud so yeah that'll obviously be a, a task at hand as well so well thank you so much for your time today Benny. Sweet uh, as Braden. Welcome to Steam Dugout mate. Cheers bro.